Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make 23% with an Amazon trade. That's right, 23% with a high probability of success. But it can still always go wrong. Anyway, let's go to the computer and I'm gonna show you how. Okay. All right, so I wanna make 23% on this stock and this is Amazon and I got burned on this stock a couple of days ago. Let's go to the hourly on his, um, and you can look at the hourly chart and right here, you know, this is way back, uh, what day is this? Uh, March 4th, I put a trade in to, for this thing to break out and I just it really anticipated it because, you know, it was hitting resistance. I even had the line here, but, you know, Facebook was doing good. Google was doing good. And I was like, man, this is going to blow through. This is part of Fang. Just like that, it's going to blow right through. I put the trade on and then boom, look what just happened. It went all the way down to 1674 the next day, next two days. No, the next day, the next day. And then it kind of came back. And then boom, the bottom just fell out and uh, it went all the way down to the 1586. And I'm like, oh, why didn't I just wait for it to get over resistance? All right. So anyway, here it comes back up. Here it comes back up. And um, this trade was a loser that I put on. And I'm, now we're, we're basically back. We're back in the same boat. Now I'm like, okay, I need to wait for this thing to get above resistance. I learned my lesson back here. I learned my lesson. But you know what? I kind of didn't learn my lesson because I'm putting on a trade to make 23% on this stock in the next uh, 35 days. I think it's the 35. So let's go ahead and check out the options and what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm looking at, I have the trade right here, and you can see I'm looking at the uh, eight, the, the options that expire on uh, April 18th. Uh, they're 35 days out, and I'm looking to sell the uh, 1610 put for about 1715 and buy the uh, 1600 puts for protection around 1530. So I have that trade loaded up right here, and you can see the current price is $1 dollar and 95 cents and you know you have to time that by 100 this is option so basically i'm gonna make 195 dollars as long as amazon stays above 1610 with before uh, april uh, <laughs> the 18th of april 35 days so let's go back and look at the chart where is 1610 and that is i'm gonna draw a line that's kind of right there it won't be exact uh, right there. So basically, I'm saying that Amazon is going to stay above here for the next, let me go to the daily chart, get a better look at that, to stay above here for the next 35 days. Now, I am anticipating Amazon to break through, and I really should have learned my lesson, but I only put on half a position, okay? So I put on half a position now, and then as it comes down, I'll put on the other half all right so anyway um, um let's go back to that that trade so here it is i'm gonna make a, a, a dollar 95 195 dollars and let's analyze that so here's the analyze tab on your think swim platform and if you can see right here you know with a where it kind of plateaus that's the 1610 mark and i will make and if you look over here to the left hand corner in the blue 190 seven ninety five dollars okay that's when it's going to expire and if it doesn't if it stays if it goes below that within the next 35 days you can see i'm going to lose eight hundred and five dollars that's the trade all right so actually this is going to be a little bit more than um what did i say 24 percent. so basically um i put this trade on at 190 i'm, I'm trying to put uh another one on at 195 but um I have that in the order so if you see that pop off i guess i'll get it so basically you take 195 and you divide it by what you're risking which is 805 and it says i'm going to get 24.2 percent so this is relatively safe i have i wouldn't say rel nothing safe in this kind of market okay but if you look at this line i have it set right there at the 1610 let's make that 1610 exactly right Boom, boom. There it is. And then here is the line, 1610. If you look on this side, the right now the stock is right here at uh, 19, 1695. And there's a 77.79% chance that it will stay.
stay above 1610 before, if you look up here in the upper right, April 19th. A 77.79% chance that it will stay above. Um, uh, 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 1610, sorry. Okay, let's say that again. A 77.79% that Amazon will stay above 1610 before April 19th. And if that happens, I'm going to make $192 or 24% on my trade. Now, I'm not going to stay in this trade for the whole duration, the whole 35%. I'm going to try to get out if it reaches half. Okay, so half. So I'm going to basically sell it probably about, what's half of a, half of a hundred, half of 200 is a hundred. So I'll probably sell it about $95. Okay, so um, I'll buy it back, I should say, at $95. And um, that might be tomorrow. If it breaks through tomorrow, it might be next week. You know, uh, it probably won't be the whole uh, 35, um, the, the whole 35 days. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it. And then, of course, if I buy it back early, I'm not making uh, 35, uh, 23 I'm not making 23% on my trade or 24% because I have bought it back at half price. But what I'll do at that time is put the trade on again, all right, and probably adjust the strikes and, and just kind of keep playing it that way. So if you go to the uh, right here, the, the, um, the option chain, you can see the 1610 strike, which is right here on the put side. I sold put, and you see the delta is 22. Now, basically... It's kind of saying if we use it as a probability that there's 22% chance that that this stock will be at or below 1610 on the 30. So basically, if you reverse that, that means there's a 77% chance, a 78% chance that it will be above, you know, uh, uh, the last, I can't say 1610, and you can see that right here. If you go straight across to the call side, 77% chance. So I'm going to go ahead and put that trade on. I'm really liking Amazon. The one really thing I like about this trade is the next, the next, this is just before they report earnings, all right? Um, actually, I think I was, yeah, I was looking right here. Let me make sure. Yeah, there it is. Okay. But the week after, they report earnings. And you can see how over here the volatility is like 29%. You know, it's, it's crazy. Um, they expected a price movement of $136 price movement. That's crazy. So what I'm expecting to happen, I don't think that Amazon is going to give up the ground going into that earnings. I think it's going to run up into that earnings. So I, I, I think... I have some protection. I mean, it, I don't. I don't believe it's going to go back down to here before earnings. Now, of course, it could do anything it wants to do, <laughs> like it did here, and I totally got burnt. And you would figure I would learn my lesson, but like I said, I put on half a position. And if this thing pops over, I'm putting on more of that same trade. I might actually adjust the strikes a little higher to kind of maintain that 24%. So it'll probably be like selling a, a 22 delta, just like I did on the puts, if it kind of busts above this um, 1710 resistance. And if you look at, let's go back to the hourly, because you can kind of see that resistance good. It needs to bust through all of this right here. Um, get my square thing, and hopefully I can draw a square. It needs to bust through all of that, and, and even some of that, right? These are the people that's selling as it goes through and you see this right here um where it actually got this tanked somebody hit it hard somebody hit the sell button pretty hard and it was right here on this top candle which was uh 1705 1706 so if this gets up there this same person might be just hitting the switch man and just dumping shares I don't know, but it just hit hard, and actually the whole market was coming down. So I'm really worried about that price at 17.05. Um, somebody might, it, the same thing might just happen. Boom, it triggers computer, whatever, just start selling and just dumping the shares, right? And then as this price goes down, the cost of that spread, that dollar 95 is going to go up, meaning I'm going to, I'll be losing money at that point. Um, but this trade makes money if it goes up. 
it stays here and wants to go sideways and do that all day or even goes down. But if I were to try to get out of it early, I will be losing money if this thing goes down. Only time I basically make money is if it kind of stays the same or goes up. I'll lose money as it goes down, but as time goes on, I'm getting that time decay. This option it only has 35 days, so tomorrow it's going to be worth less and less, worth less and worth less. So it says right here under this trade that it's going to make two dollars and 25 cents a day it, it, it's, it's this 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 option this this trade is losing two dollars and 25 cents a day as it gets closer to the expiration and that number is going to go up so if we could actually simulate it right here um with today's days the 314 if i keep pushing that up see 230 240 two dollars and fifty cents on um march 17th 259 on march 18th uh 271 on march 19th you get the picture come all the way over here to uh, march 30th it'd be losing four dollars and 71 cents a day and as it gets closer i mean it's just it's just totally losing its value but it'll be gaining value if the price of the stock starts to head down all right so those are the two factors you know what's going to happen with amazon you know my gut i'm telling you right now it's it i probably should wait I shouldn't even put this trade on until it gets above the resistance. But like I said, I put a couple on because I got burnt here. Learn your lesson, Dre. Learn your le Hello, McFly. Is anybody home? Think, McFly. Think. Think. <laughs> I got burned here. Why the hell would I put a trade on? It's a, it needs to break above that. But I put a couple on, and I'm going to put a couple more on up here. So... That's my trade, 24%, and let's see what happens. Hey, let's come back a month later. This is this is this is a lot of room for me to be right. 77 77.79% chance of me being right. Let's see what happens. All right, so there's my trade and um 24%. Let's see if I can get that. Um, like I said, probably not the best time, but you know, I, I, I just gotta do it. I just gotta do it. But we'll see if I'm right or wrong. Hey, I'm only in it for until I can recoup half of those. Once that, once that option goes to half price, I'm buying it back. Okay, and then I'll just put the trade on again. Move it out another 35 days. Um, but anyway, that's my plan. It works. It works 77% of the time. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Trading Scared. See, you know what? Talk about that resistance. I'm scared, man. But nah, I'm not. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> it's Dre. Train scared. Out.